Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Well, thanks for showing up today, guys. We're waiting for people to get on. Just uh, always as a reminder, you know, uh, make sure you go to the YouTube channel, Dr. Zeno, to get all the 15 Minute Fuels. They're all there for you in a playlist in order. Also, you can also see the We Are Heroes shows all in a playlist for you as well. Also, if you go to SoundCloud, Dr. Zeno, or iTunes, and or Stitcher, you'll be able to get all the podcast versions of it. Basically, it's just the audio of this ripped and put on there for uh, for your convenience if you're driving or something like this so you don't miss a fuel. Every time we do one of these, there's always a really good nugget in there. Uh, make sure you comment below, hit the uh, thumbs up, hit the star, hit the share. We're on Instagram Live right now. We're also on Facebook Live. So let's have a good one. So today, um, just kind of in my thinking this morning, the whole the whole thing is you know uh, the second most um, popular and sold book uh, compared to the Bible was the Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, and in no way am I disrespecting what he did there. I just it's a great book. It was awesome. But I think uh, what I want to I just want to do a different angle of it. When you look at this whole purpose driven life, so everybody's like, yeah, my life is driven by purpose. I got this purpose driven life. But the thing is, is the goal of our life to just be driven by purpose or is one of the goals of our life to actually accomplish our purpose? You follow what I'm saying? Maybe I should write a book, The Purpose Accomplished Life. And if you beat me to it, kudos to you. I mean, just think about that. Is our goal in life to live a purpose-driven life? Because I, I, when I think purpose-driven, it's like I, I'm, I, I'm driven, I'm moving you know, I got this motivation of a purpose, but I could be motivated and still not do much. You follow what I'm saying? Like I, I could be motivated and inspired, but not really win the race. Versus a purpose accomplished life is, you know, I'm self-aware, you become self-aware, these are my gifts, these are my talents, this is the, the, uh, the calling in my heart to do whatever that may be, and my job is before I die, I accomplish that part. Or at least I got it started, right? So maybe it could be like a Moses thing where he died looking at the promised land, but at least, you know, it was, it, it, the life is, you know, it wasn't a life that was driven only. It was actually the goal. Part of it was to actually get it, reach it, have it, accomplish it. Now I understand legacy is a part of it. And I believe sometimes, you know, some of the purposes we have in our life that would be chosen to, we're just part of a purpose that might take a few generations to accomplish. Follow? I don't think there's just one purpose, don't get me wrong, but I think there's phases. We talk about the reverse bullseye, right? So I think there's a phase where you could say, hey, purpose accomplished and versus purpose driven. Because I've known people who like my purpose is to been do this and they live their whole lives with this like out of reach thing, right? Oh, I'm going to do this someday and this is where I'm going to go. And they, they, they get caught up in the emotion and the uh, drama of it. But at the end of the day, on the paper, we got nothing to show. There's nothing on the scoreboard. There's nothing saying, hey, listen, this, this drive I had, this driven purpose I had actually amounted to something, uh, you know, where it was tangible, amazing, done, built, or um, structure was built so the next team or the next generation can come and build upon that. So I think, you know, just having that mind shift thinking, listen, I don't want to live a purpose driven life. Hell no. I want to have a purpose accomplished life. Right. I mean, you know, so no matter how you think about it, if let's say you only live once, do you want to have a purpose driven life where you're driven towards your purpose your whole life? Or do you want to be able to, you know, be at your deathbed going, I accomplished a lot of sweet things. You know, these purposes in my life, I nailed quite a bit of them. I set the stage for people that, you know, I, 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 the legacy is to have a, have your purpose that supersedes your life, of course, but I think a purpose accomplished life is a lot more appealing and I think it does a lot more for the world, a lot more for people, right? Because I think when you accomplish your purpose, that's when people get the benefit of you. That's when people get the benefit of your heart, your message. Having a great idea, driven by the idea, doesn't help anybody. So my wife's watching, I think I'm gonna write a book, Purpose Accomplished Life, and it'll be the second most <laughs> sold book in the world. Because it really has to be, and I think just in that today, like you're going out, I said, you know, I'm, I'm just not gonna be driven, because I find myself even now, you know, with the whole hero thing, I have a lot of inspiration for it. I have a lot of drive for it. Everybody loves it, 
right? So there's a lot of emotion about it, but I don't got too much to show for it, right? So I'm purpose driven with it, but I got to put the rubber to the road on it. I got to build the foundation of it. I got to, you know, the time. Remember that yesterday we talked about the time, the work, the money, those things you can't escape and actually literally make it something tangible where you could have something that was accomplished. So then when your purpose is accomplished or one of your purposes is accomplished, that's when people benefit from your purpose. That's how you could serve the world. You know, that's the thing. Like, you know, and if you want to go to the Bible, Christ accomplished his purpose, period. You know, it's finished. Like he accomplished it. So I think using that as an example, purpose driven doesn't, Purpose driven is great, and I think that's a good baby step. But as we evolve, we should be like, all right, I get it. But now, wh what do we have to show for it? Are we going to be emotional? Because it's very easy to be, be emotionally driven, right? We search for dopamine very easy. Like, you know, when I was trying, trying to write some stuff yesterday, I'm writing, you know, developing the hero stuff. And, you know, when it's your thing, right? When it's your thing, it's so personal that you're your biggest critic. You follow what I'm saying? So, so, and I'm saying this because when it's your business, your finances, your health, like you will be the most critical, plain and simple. So when you're trying to work on your stuff and, and, and you're so critical of it, all of a sudden what starts to happen, you're trying to get in the groove and then maybe I'm hungry, maybe I should eat, or maybe I could go to the bathroom, or maybe I need to buy something on Amazon first, or maybe I should check, check Facebook. How many likes do I have on Instagram? So what we start to do is when you start to get a little nervous, you know, going towards your purpose, your body wants to distract because it's, it's, it's getting an anxious and it's searching for dopamine, right? So what's a dopamine release? When you buy something, you get that feel good dopamine release. When you eat something that you should or shouldn't, you get a dopamine release. When you, um, when you go on Facebook, that thing is a dopamine release. Okay. When you go on into all this stuff's dopamine release. So we tend to go towards these distractions just like we love, um, you know, positive drama, negative drama. You know what you would ask, well, why is someone always into negative drama? Because the drama gives the, the release, the dopamine release. It's that, it's that excitement. But all of that I'm saying, checking my Facebook, looking at my Instagram, getting something to eat, buying something on Amazon, nothing got done, right? So here I'm purpose driven. I want to get this thing going, but we could tend to get busy being purpose driven and we forget to actually get get the purpose accomplished. And so yes, purpose accomplished could take your whole life, but I think we have multiple purposes. So the second part, so now we go from purpose driven to purpose accomplished. Now my question is this, so what happens when you do accomplish that purpose or that goal? Then guess what? You got another one. There's always another one. Like you don't have one purpose. I would, I would, I would I'd probably say you have multiple, multiple purposes. And I think the quicker you hit a big one, I think you'll get better and better at it. Just like when someone writes a book, their first book is always the toughest, it's always the longest. But then what happens is the first book maybe took three years, the second book took one year, the third book took six months. So what happens, I think you just, your confidence builds, right? Everything starts to build where you're like, hey, listen, there's the wins. And then you start being driven, not by purpose driven, but you're driven by purpose accomplishment. So hopefully that uh, helped you guys today on 15 Minute Fuel. Just a simple switch of the mind. You know, Purpose Driven is great. Rick Warren, you're awesome. I appreciate you and everything you've done for uh, the world in that. But I think we need to step it up a notch. And I think when we wake up, we need to be like, what am I doing to help accomplish my purpose today? I believe we were, we were born purpose driven, but I, be I believe our life has been destined to be purpose accomplished. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching 15 Minute Fuel. Uh, any comments or questions, please hit below. Someone definitely needs to hear this today. Hit the share button. Hit the like button. Lots of love. And um, I'll go through. I'll say hello to a couple people here. Ashley's on. Rob Neuenschweiner. Leticia, good to see you. What's up, George? My wife. Hey, George. Sean, good to see you. Veronica. Awesome story, Veronica, the other day of which you overcame. And Frankie Strain on uh, Instagram. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow with 15-Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. We'll free your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.